tap the circle right, so really this, fast. This story I just seen, uh, DJ Academics was watching the video about it. So, apparently, <coughs> there's a situation where, uh, so there, there was a, a situation between uh, a boyfriend and a girlfriend. Are we playing trios right? or squads? Squads. Okay. It looked like they didn't give us a fourth one. Should have made me part of it. But go ahead. Um. Um, all right, so yeah, right, so it yeah. was a, a was situation a, between his boyfriend and girlfriend, right? right? Uh, the, uh, girlfriend the girlfriend had called the police called because, the because the boyfriend, uh, uh like uh, borrowed a car borrowed and didn't give it back to her. So the boyfriend is there, and he's just like, like, oh, I dropped it off at your mom's house, and uh, the mama said, nah, it's not over here. So that's the reason for the police call, right? Uh, right. But I guess uh, somewhere in there, somewhere she in told there, she the police, like, oh, yeah, he, he, has, oh, a yeah, he has a gun, too. And so, and so I guess that kind of put them on put edge them or whatever. Edge or whatever. So, they so they come there. The boyfriend show the boyfriend up. Show up. Uh, they, uh, they, you know, they want to speak to him or whatever. So they they say, hey, well, she said he had a gun, so just pat him down, you know, or that he... Basically, he owns a gun. <laughs> they, he didn't necessarily, she didn't necessarily but say he had owned a gun, him. But he owns a gun. Yeah. yeah. So they just said they pat him, they, they like patted him down like multiple times and stuff, right? So then they put him in the back of the police car. Now, uh, the lead police person, this, this girl, uh, she's uh, talking to the girlfriend, talk to girlfriend and the and other, other one, one the, other officers, the other police officer is like kind of like over there by the police car with the dude in the car now the dude is just walking the police car uh, like the dude is in the police car and the other police officer walks by the police car and he hears some sort of sound uh, and he says, "Oh, shots fired! Shots fired!" Like he doubles, like he he does like a duck and roll to the back of the car and just start lighting the car up or whatever and stuff. What? Shooting the car up. Wait, yeah, it's, slow down. Go go back. Okay. Yep. Go so, way to the beginning, my nigga. Cause I'm like, this shit, I'm kind of lost now. But go ahead. So the like I said, the boyfriend is in the police car. They patted him down multiple times to make sure he don't have no, no gun. Yeah. So there's two police officers there. It's a male and a female. The the female is kind of in charge. The female is talking to the uh, the girlfriend. The uh, the male police officer is over by the police car with the male. He's not talking to him. He just by the police car, which he's the the guy's in the back seat of the police car. Now the police. Uh, officer, the male police officer, the male police officer hears something, um, which he says is gunfire. So he automatically Stop, starts, drops and rolls. Yeah, he stops, drops and rolls, and starts shooting at the car. He like, I'm hit, I'm hit, and he starts shooting or whatever and stuff into the car, unloading into the into car what like car into the police car okay where the where the the, the dude is being held in the back seat yeah with, with, after they patted with hand, him down multiple times yeah with handcuffs on okay so he's in the back seat so they start unloading i mean he starts unloading and the the, the female is like like well what's going on what's going on like yeah he, uh, uh, uh like i'm shot i'm hit i'm hit and like where's the shots she's like where's the shots coming from it's coming from the car so she starts unloading. Both of them are unloading at the car. So in the end, like when stuff calms down, people, it's like the paramedics or whatever, they're trying to attend to the police officer. They're like, uh, oh, where, where's your, where you hit at? Where you hit at? You're like, uh, I, I don't know. Like they, they looking all around his body trying to see where he's been hit. Come to find out, basically, what happened was that as the police officer was walking by the car, the car was under a tree, and an acorn fell from the car, fell on top of the car, and hit it, and he automatically, the other police officer, automatically thought he was being shot at, even so far as to say that he got hit by a bullet in the leg. Come out, his legs are numb from the shot that he took. Oh man, so his adrenaline—he was pumping on adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, God. 
so he quit. So he quit. And um, and, yeah, he resigned. Yeah, he but he resigned, cool. I mean, he, he cool. I faced mean, no charges or nothing like no that. Charges. But the good, the but good. The dude died. Yeah, I was gonna say the positive, yeah, gonna say the positive side, side is that the dude is, is still, still alive. alive luckily, luckily, because, because in the police car, I guess he was like laid down, and I guess they have that kind of armor around the seats. So even though they unloaded about 40 or 50 shots in his direction. Towards the seat, he was able to survive because of the metal that that blocked all the shots. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Ain't that Ain't something, that bro? This dude talking about shot, shots fired. I'm hit. I'm hit. That's so disrespectful. I know. That's why you don't trust folks.